guys, Max the Geek here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Flight Gear, a flight simulator for Mac OS X. Now this isn't just for Mac OS X, this is for Windows, Mac, and I believe Linux, because it's open source, and open source, that means it's free. So if you want to get Flight Gear, just Google search Flight Gear for Mac OS X download, just like that. Google search that. And then the first link or whatever, you can download it from their website. It's totally free. So, it is an awesome flight simulator, and it doesn't cost a thing, and it's cross-platform for everyone. So, let me just show you. This has what the icon looks like. Just a little race thing with an F. Flight gear. And then there's a window. You can choose your aircraft by clicking Advanced Features down here. And then go to Aircraft, and you can filter out and search whatever one you want. Um, I just selected this little plane right here, and then just click Start Flight. Now, it is pretty sleggy. It's not pretty leggy, but it takes a while to load. I have a Mac Mini, and surprisingly, the graphics work pretty well. It, it's a pretty good fa frame rate for the crappy Intel graphics card that they put in Mac Minis, so um, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, and just wait for it to load, and yeah. Um, almost done. In any second, you should hear the engine running, and we're going to be at the airport. You hear the engine it's starting up, and this is how it looks. Let me just turn my volume down this bitch. Um, so to switch your views, click the V key, and your view should be switched to this view. This is my preferred view, and I just push page up on my keyboard to start the engines make the engines go faster and to steer the plane on the ground I use the period and comma key that's to steer it on the ground but when you want to steer it in the air once you take off and you're in the air use your arrow keys to go up and down and side to side I'm going to try and stay on the runway here I'm taking off whatever doesn't matter if you're on the runway or not And there I am, I'm off from the ground. Now I'm using my arrow keys on my keyboard to control my plane. Um, it's pretty convenient. You can just fly anywhere you want. This map is huge. I never even got to the end of the map. This land, like they have cities and towns and different airports everywhere. This, this place goes on forever and ever and ever. There's even an ocean. The ocean's right behind me. But I'm steering with my arrow keys. I just push them up and down and side to side. And you can change your aircraft. You can even drive a 747 if you want. You can go up above the clouds. Um, let me just do a turn to show you the ocean. Because I know a lot of people are going to want to see how it looks. As you can see, the graphics are pretty good. Um, not to mention the fact that this is an open source program. And I noticed with open source programs, they don't do as good of a job, but they surprisingly did an excellent job making this program, or game. It's excellent. Excellent game. Five stars. There's the ocean. Um, and you guys are probably going to want to see what happens when it crashes. When the plane crashes, you just, this is what happens when it crashes. Just do nose dive. It, nothing happens. Watch what happens when you crash the plane. I'm just going to crash to show you guys what will happen. This is all that happens. Your plane just freezes. It touches the ground and freezes. And then you have to press. And then you have to completely quit the game by going quit. Exit. And that is Flight Gear for Mac OS X. Um, it's pretty convenient. Pretty stable. Um... And if you want to get it, like I say, Google search Flight Gear for Mac OS X, Flight Gear for Windows, and Flight Gear for Linux. Whatever you have. It works for everyone. So, yeah, please check out my channel for my tech videos. And if you like my videos, please subscribe. I'm having a giveaway going on. You can check that out. And other good stuff. So thank you for watching.